street children in Mwanza. They don't have anywhere to sleep and they're on the streets. So it's just a hessian sack that he's sleeping in to keep warm. They're vulnerable to sexual violence, physical violence, emotional violence. They're vulnerable to trafficking. And some of the kids that we met were seven years old and upwards. So just to think that children are living like that is really heartbreaking, actually. We have a lot of challenge here because this is the place we have rented. And when we get to our own, we can have more space. They can have a classroom to read, class to do their artwork. Not only that, but the community. One of the boys that we'd actually seen in Chekhasana in the day, we actually came across them at night, sleeping in a doorway. But then when you see them at Chekhasana in the day, they're laughing, they have food, they have their friends, they're playing games, they want to engage. <laughs> But I think it's heartbreaking when I spoke to Boaz, who told me that some of the children who were there in the day say, please let us sleep here tonight, can we sleep here tonight? And they have to say no, because they don't have the facilities, they don't have the building. It's heartbreaking to say, no, you, you have to go back to the streets and we'll have to see you at nine o'clock tomorrow. They're making do with a totally inappropriate building for children. I think if they actually had a building that was purposely built for them, that they could co-design, it would just make all the difference. Child Support Tanzania is an inclusive school for children with disabilities. It's far more than bricks and mortar, those children that we saw. Just, just we were happy, we were well cared for, were thriving, they had great opportunities ahead of them. Our school is unique because it reaches needs of the children. Children can pass with, with wheelchairs, but also uh, children with visual impairment, there is landmarks. For children with intellectual impairment, there is Involvement which makes them understand even their classes, you know. Child Support Tanzania is designed by professionals, architects and engineers from Article 25 and people who are working close with Article 25. Article 25 designed it and funded some of it and oversaw the construction. We then had Hawley working with us and Ingenuity and WSP and it really struck me that our more than the building partners are so crucial to what we do. The children love it, there's just smiles everywhere. And so seeing the Article 25 building and just how beautiful it is, it's just incredible. One of my favourite things that Article 25 ever did was they involved all the children in the design process. So I remember they gave them um, big A3 sheets and they told them to draw their what they think their house should look like. And I was actually blown away by some of the answers and I was there, oh my God, like nearly everybody put in a library. I love the library. The library and the dining terrace, if I can say too. <laughs> the library because it's full of textures, colours and it aids with education in the long run. The bricks are, uh, are made just down the road. Many of the other materials are very sustainable. We've used passive design principles to keep the buildings really cool. They're very airy, lots of natural light. Everyone is happy. I'm happy. Children are happy. Staff are happy. We enjoy. <laughs> It's so much more than a building here because we've managed to create such a happy home. It's more than a building because it will host the growing up of um, dozens and dozens of young people who have come from a really tough, tough start in life. They'll learn to socialise here, they'll learn to uh, read here, they'll learn to write here, they'll learn to play. This village is more than a building because it's a home. So there's that sense of family. It's more than just the bricks. Our experience of working with Article 25, the long and the short of it is we would never have ever have achieved any of this without them. 
they're just children now, they're regular children. To hear them laughing, playing football, screaming the place down, it's just good for the soul. It just makes me so happy. Yeah. Just give me, oh sorry. Thank you for it.